you don't cut become friends with landscape customers you become friends with pond owners because you're really changing a house into a home when you do a water feature because it's a lifestyle this is a lifestyle yeah. so once again look at this multi-million dollar home look at that vista a ninety thousand dollar investment to make more of an impact in this space than anything else they could put in here that's right it's a beautiful day in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and we are traveling around seeing projects done by Waterscape. And uh, Chuck, this is uh, one of your bandmates, isn't it? Yes, it is. Jeff and the deck chairs. I'm putting in a plug. Jeff and the deck chairs. We'll actually put a link to Jeff and the deck chairs music yeah, down right, here. But right. did we do a pond here? What did we do? We did. We originally built this pond in 2001, and it's been remodeled just last summer. Wow, look at this. They've got a mountain in their backyard. Explain this project to me, Ted. So basically, they built this in 2001. Last year, Lana wanted to kind of beautify the spot and bring in more custom special rocks. How many thousands of pounds of stone did you bring in for uh, this? I'd say probably about 60,000. It's about a 200 foot river. It's quite a travel for the for the water. Yeah. Okay, so you can see the biofalls up here. You just don't have any rock covering it right now. Yep. It flows down here along the pathway for multiple waterfalls through uh, pictured rock. What would a project like this entail from Waterscape? Something like this is, is a unique situation where we have a really steep hill to work with. So it It's an artist. It's a pallet for an artist to work absolutely. with. Absolutely. When you see a natural hill, then nothing gets us more excited when we go to new houses. So natural slope, especially, you know, when it's flowing away from the house, you want to create some sort of a seating area down towards the bottom of the pond. We had to bring in, like Ted said, about 30 ton of rock just for the river alone. We actually originally built this in 2001. It was just a blank hill, a lot of ground cover over top of it. We built the pond about half the size of the one down there right now. And then about 10 years later, we actually doubled the size of the pond. We seen the liner and busted out one hole and it made it a lot bigger. Something like this typically with the hill slope and everything, the accessibility. There's two Aquascape 7500 pumps up it up to the top in a Grande Skimmer and Grande Biofalls, loaded it up with LED lights, super long 200 foot river. Something like this, you're, you probably expect, you know, 60 grand for, for something like that. That's not bad. I'll take a hug. <laughs> what a beautiful property you have here. Thank you. What's it like living the Aquascape lifestyle? My late husband started it off. Mm -hmm. A good friend of Chuck as yeah. well. And this was his project. You don't cut become friends with landscape customers. You become friends with pond owners because you're really changing a house into a home when you do a water feature because it's a lifestyle. This is a lifestyle. Yeah. You're right. This, the landscape was so steep. We were like, what? there's no way we're going to mow this. And Dave had the idea. I saw the Look, ad. She saw a tiny little ad. In the Observer. In the, yeah, in the Celine Observer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tiny little paper. And then and when I me. met Chuck, we both had worked in a healthcare system. So we had that in common. And we were like, oh, okay, let's yeah. do this. How did the addition happen? Well, there have been several. Mm -hmm. It started with yeah. a tiny pond about half, well, it's just this size. You, you can see, see where, the old where it is. Water, where we've yeah, seen right. it. The, did you know this? The average person buys three water features. Big, bigger, biggest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that got bigger. That was Dave's <laughs> yeah, right. idea. Uh-huh. And then the stream became old and the liner was 
breaking down, the rocks were breaking down. Before Dave died, we had envisioned this patio and then that happened. You know, I could tell you, we've been just sitting down here for a few minutes. It just lets the stress go away. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's great to sit up on the deck because mm -hmm. now it, the flow is, is more and you can hear it. So it sounds like you're by a water feature. I say that all the time. But it's true, a water feature customer is different than any other type of customer because you are creating a lifestyle for them. They become your friends. Chuck was friends with her first husband and he became friends with her next husband because they're living the aquascape lifestyle. And for me to know that this was something that they enjoyed together, he's no longer with us, but the new guy loves it too. And he's got a band, I love this. We're actually gonna put the music from his band in here. Access granted. It's granted. Granted. I don't know where we are still. <laughs> right. We're at, uh, actually we're in Celine now. Okay, and what do we got down here, boys? Big waterfall. Is your favorite, Ted? I think you named us. Yeah, <laughs> mine, might as well. Oh! Uh -huh. uh, heart and soul into this one. That's a lick. That's it, oh, we did it. How do you like that? <laughs> So Ben and Ted, you actually built this, right? Yeah, we had the dream team out of here. <laughs> there you go. Those waterfalls were there, but they fell originally into a pondless basin, but we actually turned it, uh, converted it into a pond. He wanted a lot more water involved in this. He knew the, uh, the opportunity he had to have a bigger water feature in front of him, right up, up the back of this beautiful house. Yes. Three feet deep, obviously a lot of plant life here, a lot of noise, and he's got a beautiful pond out in the backyard as well. Yeah, and once again, that pond back there is nice to look at in the vista, but it doesn't make sound. This makes sounds, and I'm gonna assume that when you came in here, you didn't leave the waterfall, you rebuilt the waterfall too. Correct, yes. <laughs> uh, how many aqua blocks do you have down here? Uh, right here, I believe there's about six aqua blocks here, but this is what we call an intake base. So this is where all the debris will go and they can just scoop it right out. Yep. And normally the pine level is this high, but after rain. big rains like we just had recently around yep. here, this acts like a giant skimmer on a smaller traditional pond. So it draws in debris in a larger area to you know leave floating debris to make its way over here. So Chuck, what did these people say? They said, wow, <laughs> unbelievable. No, they really did. They loved it. They absolutely loved it. Well, and it's also different going from a pondless to a pond. And that, that was one of the big things they wanted was this reflecting pond. It looked really nice with fish and the plants. They love plants. I love how that step goes across. Yep, yep. I mean, there's not a person that's going to come out here that's not going to want to walk this. So, Brian, what would something like this from Waterscapes entail? We start with a clean slate. Luckily, with this one, there was already a hillside here. Even though it was an old water feature here, we actually treat that like there was nothing there at all because we have to demo that out versus creating it originally. So mm -hmm. it takes place of the digging uh, initially. We loaded out, loaded up about 40,000 pounds of serpentine boulder, just some big, massive rock, super dense stuff. We incorporated it in the wall to transition out smoothly in here. We have about 25, 30,000 gallons per hour pumping through here. Two variable speed, four to 8,000 pumps, loaded up with LED lights. Uh, uh -huh. In fact, my favorite time is at nighttime, where you can just see the lights just, just flowing through the water. So something like this, with the pond and everything, roughly about $90,000. So once again, look at this multi-million dollar home. Look at that Vista, a $90,000 investment to make more of an impact in this space than anything else they could put in here. Right. Good investment. Hans done right, customers serve right is the motto of the certified Aquascape contractors. This was an existing water feature. What percentage of your work is rebuilding yeah. somebody? 50% yeah. of Waterscape's work is rebuilding. This is not an easy water feature. You need to know what you're doing and to make it look natural, to make it not leak. So to do that, you need a certified aquascape counter, somebody who's a professional that specializes in this. Any landscaper could say they can do a water feature, but it takes a certified guy to make it look natural. And this guy's 
looks natural. So junipers, okay, like this, you got the blue with the green, it looks fantastic, and it will just continue to grow and soften up the edges. You don't wanna have the same uniform edges. When you got a juniper like this, it will grow and soften up the rocks, and it's always green, it's an evergreen plant. The reason this never gets old for me is I always get to see what the creativity of an artist, and this truly is artwork. And I love to say I love my job because I get to go out and see what my artists have done with the water feature products that we provide. My main business is manufacturing and supplying the products, but I really enjoy it as seeing how my customers are incorporating our products into their beautiful artwork. This is truly a spectacular piece of it. If you want to live the aquascape lifestyle too and get a spectacular water feature, check out the link below to find a certified aquascape contractor in your area and you too can start living the aquascape lifestyle. I love my job.